Hello everyone, welcome to the Hypergamous Journey. My name is Denise. At this channel, we discuss dating advice for women who are mature. Mature in age, mature in mindset. Oh boy, so I'm just going to briefly mention I'm dating. Dating um, one man for a couple of months and it's progressing nicely. And I'm not going to share anything other than that, is that it's progressing nicely. I really like him. Seems like through his behavior, he really likes me. So I'm 62 years old. I turned 62 in March. It is now April 2023. And this stuff works, ladies. That's all I have to say. It works. It works. Um, yeah, it works. So if you are looking for marriage, regardless of age, soften up. I have over 350 videos, maybe 375. Watch them. I may, I have made playlists. Watch them. You can see the difference between when I started in 2021 with no makeup, to wearing makeup, to trying to perfect my makeup technique. I like it simple. I like it natural. I'm even got a little thing going on with my eyebrows that they look a little better than they used to, more defined, a little darker, not too dark. Um, and we have to be careful about as we mature, you know, those lines, frown lines and laugh lines, we can't do anything about them. But if we pile the makeup on too much and too thick, it just accentuates those lines. So I like to keep mine soft and, you know, slowly but surely just perfect my makeup technique until I find a look that, you know, is right on point. But this is good right now. So as you know, I've been doing a series of um, videos on Kevin Samuel's video entitled who are you to rate women? And I am on point 16, which states, the goal is to get off the chess board. He said, Kevin Samuels in this video entitled, who are you to rate, to rate women? He said, the goal is to get off the chest, chess board. <laughs> The goal is to get off the chessboard, and boy, is he right. So when I started this channel in September of 2021, um, I was a masculine woman, and I started leveling up, as Shira71 likes to say. I started to soften in 2019, June of 2019, when I binge-watched Shira71's video youtube videos and i'm four years in and i'm beginning to see results i thought i would see them right more quickly than that but you know the universe is right on time god is right on time where we need to be and it took me this long to um get to where i am now where i'm comfortable where in my femininity and softness and sometimes i go back to my masculine ways but I catch myself more likely than not, and I rein myself back in. So when Kevin said the goal is to get off the chess board, I thought, okay, so chess is a strategy game. You are trying to checkmate your opponent. You are trying to strategize on how to beat your opponent. I think the word is checkmate. When you beat your opponent in a move or something, I'm not really a chess player. I, you know, I, I used to try to learn how to play chess. And I know I can learn anything that I want to, if I really want to, but I guess I really don't want to learn to, ch to play chess. So, you know, if I got some of the terms wrong, forgive me. But, you know, you can see the imagery of a chessboard. You have the players opposing um, people on 
once different sides of the board, okay? You have the chess pieces in different colors, black and white, red and green, or gold and silver, you know, real gold and real silver. It depends, you know, the chess board can be as elaborate as you want it to be, or as uh, basic as you want the chess board to be. So it doesn't even matter how much the chess board costs, what matters is your strategy and your um, expertise in playing the game. The same with dating. You will, you will be on one side of the table, the man will be on the other side of the table at the date, and you've been working on your um, softness and your femininity, how to dress, how to present yourself, and how to let him lead. That's your strategy, and you are on the chessboard of dating. So when you look at all of the pieces, I'm not sure if there's 24 pieces or 36. I know it, it, the pieces take up three rows on each side. And the king and the queen is in the center. And then you have the pawns that are up, up front. And so if I'm not mistaken, the pawns, from the way they look, they're small. I don't know what their moves, what they can do, but let's just say how they look, how the pieces look on the chessboard. The pawns are in the front. They are smaller. Maybe they have more moves that they can do. I'm not sure. No, they, they can't do a whole lot of moving. But I'm just going by how the figures look. So the pawns are in the front. Those are the women who will do anything to get a man. Those are the women who will do anything to get a man. And the man knows that they are low hanging fruit, that he doesn't have to do much and he will, you know, have intimate relations with them and move on. It doesn't matter what they look like. It sometimes doesn't even matter what their body looks like. As long as they are out breathing, they'll take them. And then there's the knight who I think who looks like a horse. So when we think of knights, we think of um, in, in, you know, medieval times or these old period movies, uh, medieval times in those movies, they were fighters, warriors, they were uh, gruff and rough, and they didn't really settle down with a woman. You know, they had quite a few in different places and their job was their family and their um, significant others and maybe even their children. So that's the knight. And then there's the king and the queen. And I'm not sure of the other pieces, but they're in the center. They're figured differently from all the other pieces. You know they're the king and the queen. They move differently in different directions. And I think the goal of chess is to get the king or the queen or both. So you get the drift of what I'm saying is that we want to get off the chessboard. We want to be checkmated or captured in a good way by the right man. And so this hypergamy, as I've said before, it's not a destination. It's a journey because after you get him, how do you keep him? How, and then after you, you're engaged and you're married, how do you have a happy marriage? I told you about fascinating womanhood. I really like that channel because the woman, the mother is look like she's in her 70s. Her daughter looks like she's in her late 30s, maybe early 40s. And they talk about not only how to get them, but how to keep them. And it's practical things that we can implement in our lives right now to do it, whether you are in a marriage, regardless of how many years, whether you are dating someone and you just started or you've been dating a while and you're engaged and you set a wedding date, no matter what the stage is, check out Fascinating Womanhood. Fascinating Womanhood is a good channel about how to keep your man, how to have a happy marriage, all of that. Highly recommend. Don't forget, I have affirmation journals on Amazon, beautiful colors, different sizes. And I have the dating guide as well, 20 activities to help you get started dating again. And with some suggestions,